Once you have linked your mobile device, tablet or computer to the oven that you want to control remotely and opened the direct access that you saved previously on your device desktop, you will see all the elements on the remote control panel. First you will see the device selection box. This drop down menu allows you to select the desired device from the list. Here you will find all the MyChef ovens you have connected to the remote control. The on off button turns the equipment on and off. Not to be confused with the start stop button, which is used for starting and stopping the oven cooking. Next you will see the door indicator, which tells you whether the oven door is open or closed. The status indicator shows the oven status with seven possible statuses. Online, the equipment is connected and waiting to start cooking or washing. Offline, the equipment is not connected. Cooking, equipment is switched on and cooking. Preheating, the equipment is connected and preheating. Adjust, the equipment is switched on and has reached the heating temperature. Connecting, trying to connect to the equipment. Error, the device shows an error on the central display. The following icon is a Wi-Fi indicator, which shows the strength of the Wi-Fi signal in terms of percentage. In the next box, you will find three buttons that allow you to access the control panel of faces, one, two, and three, to activate and deactivate them and modify the temperature, humidity, and time parameters. The first phase is always activated. However, if you want to activate or deactivate phases two and three, you will need to click on this small square. Below you will see three columns, parameter, set point and real point. The first column contains the parameters that you can modify, temperature, humidity and time. In the second column, set point, you can mark the parameters you need for the next cook. The temperature is expressed in degrees Celsius, humidity in percentage, in time in minutes. The third column, real point, shows the temperature and humidity parameter values in real time. It also shows the time that has passed since the cooking started. Finally, the box also contains the fan speed button, which indicates the speed of the fan and you can select between two options, slow or fast. The remote control allows you to enter an endless number of recipes, which will be compatible with and visible for all the linked ovens where they can be cooked. Outside the box, there is a selection box that contains a list of the recipes entered by the user. To add a recipe, all you need to do is click on the first icon and fill in the different fields that appear. You can enter the name of the recipe you want to add, as well as the temperature, humidity, cooking time and fan speed. To edit a recipe, click on this button and the same form will open, but it will display the data that was entered when it was created. Then you can just modify the old data, adding the new desired parameters. This button sends the cooking parameters to the oven for the recipe selected in the recipe selection box. To activate the recipe, simply press the start stop button. If you want to remove one of the recipes, just select the recipe in the recipe selection box and click on this icon. If you're looking for information about the equipment, such as which users are linked to the oven, the operating time and the temperatures of the electronics, press the more information button. The last buttons you will see on the bottom of the oven remote control panel are add new device, remove device, log out, delete account.